Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Cell, and I'm happy to come your way once again. This time you're going to be looking at the training matrix. So we've recently come up with a new update based on the feedback that we've gathered from all the amazing users because this tool right here has received a lot of downloads. So we are very happy to, you know, consider the feedback of one of the users and now we are going to make it global for everyone to download. So if you're watching this video and you already have this template, feel free to get in touch and grab your copy. Now, before I dive into the features, I'd like to highlight that this tool is one of the best you ever find on the internet for effective planning, scheduling, executing, and following up on training programs for your workforce to ensure that they are always competent to carry out their job safely. So without further ado, let's get straight into the features. Now, over here is approved list, okay? This is where you provide a list of all the training programs that you want to plan for your workforce all right and you can actually list up to 100 training topics all right and then there's room to provide the frequency for those trainings so you can actually select them from the drop down and the drop down is coming from here all right so you can set frequencies for this training where frequency does not apply you simply leave it blank and then it's going to reflect accordingly on the training matrix now, as an add-on feature, we've introduced training classification. Now, this is based on the fact that training programs may fall under various categories. Some may be mandatory, some may be job requirements, some may be industry-specific, some may be client requirements, and some may be emergency requirements as well. So, you can now select training classification from the drop-down, all right, to plan for your training. Now, we have provided an additional template here which is the qualification matrix all right so this is where you're able to tell the training programs that are relevant for your department okay now this is based on the simple concept that rather than um, finding the training programs based on job positions we are rather believing that every department comprises you know people who have the same trade so you can find safety officers all of them in the HS department, people who are within administration, people who are within transport, and they may have similar training programs they need to enroll, all right? So users must, would have this list populated for them automatically. So as you build your list, this gets populated, and all you need to do is now, you know, select from the drop down your department and then plan for their training programs. Now, the list of departments can be, you need to provide them here because this is the source of the drop down. 
all right the drop down list is coming from here so this way now you provide your list of departments and then now select them here and then you plan for the, the training now this sheet has been conditionally formatted so you just enter x all right and then the color changes all right so at a glance you can tell which departments are supposed to take which types of training now because we've introduced classification automatically we've presented it on the matrix so now it gets populated here automatically so by just selecting the training program from the drop down you realize that you know as the quarterly change based on what you have provided here quarterly for manual handling all right and you are seeing manual handling here you are able to also tell that this is a job requirement for the people who have been planned for the training right so that is very very interesting to see that fire for instance fire safety is twice yearly and it is an emergency requirement so this row right here is a new feature that you find in the new update all right now we've also introduced another interesting add-on feature which is a training summary so this training summary is supposed to help users to see at glance the status of training for each employee all right so you can actually populate up to 100 training topics all right so let me get rid of this and then you can actually simplify it to just one training topic and you can select all of them all right from the drop down here so you can either use a couple of columns so that you can print it out or you could just you know populate the entire row for all the hundred training topics so this is a very very interesting feature now because we've introduced classification we need to review the dashboard so we introduced the classification for the training programs in here so that users can now filter by the various classes of training for example emergency response we have fire safety emergency response plan fire extinguishers and all just for users to visualize it on a dashboard now we introduce another dashboard for users because we designed um, this dashboard for one of the users and realize that this dashboard is really nice so why not make it accessible to all so now you have two options for dashboard you can hide the one that you don't like all right so simply keep one and hide the other now these tables and graphs are all the same that's the training program status and an employee training status all right so let's take a deep dive into the matrix all right so we are now going to be doing some sort of quality check to make sure that the training summary is correct now this is fire safety all right so if i go in to fire safety all right let me just get rid of all these ones so that i keep it simple now fire safety okay now according to the training summary four have expired one has not been trained and three have expired let's quality check it on the matrix as you can see um this number have expired this number have not been trained so that is exactly what we have there um so that's it there five have expired one person has not been trained three have also expired now if i change it to manual handling or something else like defensive driving all right defensive driving and i come here and i select defensive driving well it's the same thing so let's try to review the data and let's see we did carry out um training on let's see um now this monthly one something that is that is yearly so that we have a lot of yes yearly so let's look at welding all right welding 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 so that's right there so four are valid four people have their certificate valid one person has a certificate expiring one person has not done the training one has expired and these ones are valid so we check from the you know from the matrix and is exactly the case four here have a valid these two are also valid this one has is expiring soon this one hasn't taken the training that's right there addison hasn't taken the training all right now assuming we have another 
employee in there who has not been you know assigned any of this training and let's see how it looks isaac isaac appear and he's he belongs to i mean the same department up there you know but he hasn't done this training but we've we've probably assigned this training to him and he's probably not even done it let's see how it looks on the training matrix so um well then it's actually blank but you're not seeing it and then when we select the next one which is manual handling you realize this time around is populating that he has not been trained so the training programs that are not applicable is going to be blank all right and the ones that they have been assigned the training but or training has been planned for them but they've not executed it or they've not been trained is going to remain black as not trained as per the legend you see there so assuming i indicated welding as planned for isaac then it's going to show on here as not trained until we carry out the training for isaac and provide training date that is valid all right and it's going to show in there as valid for for isaac and then also assuming we decide not to plan manual handling for isaac and we took it out it's going to show here as blank all right so you can actually plan for training you can see the summary of training for each employee just by looking at you know the training summary so that's very exciting for users and this is a massive win for all the users so i would entreat all of you to come and grab it free of charge for all those who have already bought this template like we always do every time we come out with new updates you are entitled to it for free now let's let me plan training for isaac for all the ones that are blank and let's see what happens all right so we've planned for training for isaac manual handling we've not executed it we've also planned it for um, chemical handling isaac same for fire safety an emergency response now let's see what happens all right um i think i didn't follow chronologically so um, let me just follow chronological order we have fire safety there we have emergency response we have um substance abuse so substance abuse we've not planned it for isaac yet so that's it there. So as we plan for Isaac for substance abuse, we're going to say there that Isaac has not been trained. Work at height. We didn't plan work at height for um, for Isaac. All right. Work at height has not been planned for Isaac. So assuming we closed all these training programs, we indicate by one, we provide a training date when it was carried out. Um, so November... And then we did the training as well and provided a training date right and then we carried out this training as well and then we provide the training date which is like somewhere in march all right let's bring it forward a bit okay so now let's go back to the training summary all right you realize that this one is valid this one is valid this one is expiring soon because according to a legend if the days due is less than 60 or greater than zero it should show as expiring soon so this is a very interesting tool let me also add another employee to the matrix let's see mina in the mina otara in the and Mina belongs to the transport department again. And we've planned for training for her. For all these trainings. We planned it for her. Alright. Now we come to this training summary. You realize that she has not been trained. 
but she's been planned for the training okay so this is how exciting this tool is now after you are done making your updates obviously you need to click on refresh all for this to show on the dashboard so you click on refresh all now you can see that our dashboard has updated and then also the same dashboard right here so basically everything within the workbook updates all right so this is a very unique template if you're interested in this template feel free to get in touch and i'm presuming that there wouldn't be any need for customization however if you want it customized for your need as well don't hesitate to get in touch thank you all for your attention bye for now